Good morning. I'm Dr. Robert. And on this edition of Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, as you can see, I'm out in nature. The reason I'm out in nature has to do with our subject for today, which is the subject of screens. Very likely, you were watching me on a screen. I myself employ screens. I appreciate screens. I appreciate the utility of screens. They are, after all, small items or larger items on which patterns of different colors and shadows are able to deliver all sorts of different information to us. They're like Rahu in a box. For the better or for the worse. The worst part about it has to do with the fact that as a culture, and I'm talking not only about the United States, uh, I'm talking about any part of the world in which there is an, uh, uh, an abundance of screens, as a screen-using culture, we have become quite addicted to this particular tool. In the United States, it has been estimated that the average American adult has about 74 hours of screen time per week. That's roughly 10 and a half hours per day. 10 and a half hours per day. Almost an half of the 24 hours that the day is long. If we subtract the approximately eight hours that you'll be sleeping and the other couple of hours where you are um, eating or in the bathroom or wandering around, that means almost all the time that an average American, and this is the average American, remember, that means some of it, like me, spend less time on the screen, some spend more. Some are exposed to screens all day long. This is not a healthy situation because if you're exposed to screens all day long, even if you're watching the Nature Channel or Natural Geographic, you are missing being out in nature actually enjoying the sights, the sounds, the smells, the touches, the tastes of being out in the natural world. So let me encourage you, number one, to please go out into the natural world. And number two, to take a break from your screens occasionally. You might even consider once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, taking a day with no screens whatsoever. Just imagine you could be out in nature. You could be out at the seashore, in the mountains, in the desert, doing something that has nothing whatsoever to do with electronic reality or media presence. Give some thought to this possibility, because what this does, in the same way that occasional fasting is good for the, from food is good for the body, and occasional fasting from talking is good for the throat and the voice and the power of speech in general, Staying away from the screen will be good for your eyes because we know that uh, even children as young as age one sometimes are now having uh, potential uh, physiological damage from overuse of screens. It will be good for uh, your uh, awareness because you will no longer be completely connected to this this. Um, two-dimensional thing that is providing you a sense that you're in three dimensions. But most importantly, it will keep you from becoming completely addicted to the screen and completely connected to that very abnormal world that is still very useful that we call the internet, the, virtu the world of virtual reality. Get back occasionally into reality, into this reality that you see around me at the moment and you will not regret it. It will benefit you in so many ways. This is Dr. Robert saying, have a pleasant day, if at all possible, out in natural reality. Thank you.